Hello and welcome to this latest how-to video from eWard Winning Outdoors at eWardWinning94.wordpress.com. Today I want to show you a simple way to tie uh, shoes and boots that works better than the traditional bow knot and yet it's just as easy to tie and just as easy to untie. I learned this years ago and I don't remember who I learned it from but it was a great technique I've seen lots of videos on a better way to tie boots and shoes, and I've never seen this exact knot. So it's not my invention, but it's been working great for me for years. I taught it to my family, and they actually jokingly call it the Eric knot. But it's pretty simple, and I want to show you how to do it. First of all, you start with just a basic overhand knot, just like you're tying with the traditional way you tie shoes. The next step is the same. You make your loops with both hands, do an overhand knot with them, just like you do when you're tying shoes normally and at this point you add one more step and that is you take the loop and the tail on one side and pass them through a second time. Once you do that you pull it snug and if you did it right you should see things come through fairly parallel with a loop that comes around each side of the deal. It's a simple knot when you're ready to untie it. You just pull it and it's untied just like a regular bow but it holds way better. And I've had a number of hiking boots and stuff that require this, this laces were just slick enough they didn't stay tied very well with the regular bow knot. You can always do a double knot, but then it's more of a pain to untie. So we'll go through that again. You just do an overhand knot, just like you're tying a regular bow knot for your shoes. Make your loops and do an overhand knot with them. Again, just like you're tying shoes the normal way, but before you tighten it, make one more pass through that knot with the loop and the tail on one side. That looks kind of messy there because the tail got twisted. Pull it together. You've got these two loops around your knot and you've done it. You'll find that it holds a lot better. Uh, so for kids, for hiking where you don't want your knot to come undone, it's inconvenient and potentially dangerous. And yet when you're done, you can just pull it and untie it. Hope it helps. Have a great day. Be sure to down below the video, click the like button and subscribe if you'd like to see more like this.